Hey guys, it's your girl Asia K Geek XX Chic, and uh, I just finished watching the Wonderland video, and I'm still collecting myself. So we've waited a long time for this album, and it's finally here. And so I wanted to do a listen of the album. I get to hear the full songs with you guys right here, right now. You can get it everywhere now. If you can, you know, you can order their album off of, I believe. Uh, and my music taste, I think there's a lot of other vendors as well, but that's where I got my albums. And of course there is on, if you have a streaming platform, I believe it's on Apple Music and Spotify. So I'm about to listen to this album. I may not put the entirety of all the songs on here just because, you know, copyright. I'm really looking forward to this album. I've been looking forward to it for a while. So without further ado, since you've got um, 30 minutes, it says here, yep, 30 minutes of content to go through here. Let's get going. First is the end of the beginning, which is the first overture. I love the sound so much. Cellos and strings get to me so much. It goes right into, that is great. So I already heard the entirety of Wonderland, of course, on the video. So we're just gonna actually move right on into Dazzling Light because I haven't heard that one. Lego, three minutes, 10 seconds of bliss. I can feel it. I actually really like this song from the preview. So here's Dazzling Light. These vocals! Yes, Mingy! Yes! Why? Why? We didn't ask for this. Oh, my soul. Wow. Oh, I knew I'd like that from the preview and I was right. Wow. I love that song. I love that song. I love that song. Have I mentioned that I love that song? Because I love that song. Nore no mo joyo. No mo no mo no mo joyo. You guys okay? You okay? I'm, I'm okay. UK? All right. Okay, moving on to the next one. We gotta get through this, otherwise I'll just gush and repeat. Next one is Mist or Fog, and I think it's the one that has the, uh, it's in, uh, they put Mist here in Spotify, but I know the album is called NK, so. NK, here we go, kaja. Wow, this is a much more kind of a 90s R&B feel, doesn't it? Wait, is that who young? He don't deserve this. Oh, 
Oh my god. This is one of my- oh my god! How am I loving this? That's Sungwa! I'm not okay. Oh my god. Are you guys hearing this? All this. Oh my god. The, the distortion. ever. There's legit tears in my eyes. Oh my god. Oh, you Cho Young! Oh my god! That was amazing! I'm so proud of him! I, oh my god, I don't know how, huh? you lucky, lucky European fans that are gonna get to see him perform that live first. Guys, we're only four songs in. Wow, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That is like, such an homage to like the 90s soulful it's like a mix of like an R&B like you know EDM pop type of oh my god it's such a good song we all killed that they all killed it but oh my god who knew that who who gave Jung Woo Young permission to be making no baby making songs here no crying in the rain songs here uh-uh uh-uh you still a child sir you need to go back and have a time out I'm not prepared okay we're gonna listen to the Precious Overture, even though we've heard the majority of it throughout the um, throughout the teasers, but I, we haven't heard it in its entirety. It's in a minute and 40 seconds, yeah, it's, it's almost two minutes long, so. Whew, gotta get me out of that mood. That, that song made me feel some type of way. Okay, on to Precious. I love that this is the treasure intro, I love it. And then I got the Say My Name sound in there. Oh. Eden, you are a genius. I'm bad. Yes! Precious treasure. Y'all. Mm -mm. There's people too smart working at KQ. They got people who are too smart working at KQ. Oh, with the radio sound at the end. We also got that at the end of um of a uh, wave. No illusion. Sorry, at the end of illusion. <sighs> Can we just take some time to give it up to KQ staff who are like I said this before in one of my reaction videos that the team working with these kids. They are thinking, like, they're not playing with y'all. They did not come to play with you hoes. They're not playing checkers right now. They're playing a chess game. They're thinking five years down the line right now. The fact that they are literally using this album to wrap up a series of albums that they put out over the course of a year. One year got 12 months. It hasn't even been a full 12 months because they debuted on the 24th of October. It's been... I mean, clearly they were working on this album long before their last uh, comeback, but still... I'm stressed. Go on to win. Win, from what I remember, is a little more upbeat. We've had some emo stuff going on now. I need some, I need some bounce music. Let's get with it. Let's win this. That's what we're gonna do this season, by the way. This comeback season, we get an 80s win. Let's do it, 18. Let's get this bread. All right, win. Wow. Did not expect that beat. Strings? Rappers? Mic drop. This beat. It's like an Afro beat. Are you kidding me right now? 
And imagine the new light stick like flashing a different color to that part. Oh, of course. <laughs> this ouch, are you kidding? <laughs> this is what going mad feels like, right? This is what actually losing your mind feels like. This this is this emotion I'm feeling right now. This is this is me. This is when you realize that your sanity is completely checked out. I'm tired. <laughs> Exhausted, guys. Still have one, two, three, four, five songs to go. All right. If without you, let's go. I never know what to expect with these guys. This is so cute. Oh my God. Stop coming for me, ATs. I'm serious. I stop. My bias is singing to me right now, you guys, and I can't handle it. Sorry, I gotta take a break. <laughs> ATs, you've been holding out on us. What the hell? Ooh, young? Wow, okay. <clears throat> we can keep going. We can do this. Oh, I love this chorus. Sangopa, Surage. I don't think I'll survive if they do a video to this one, I swear to God. <laughs> it will kill me. That was so cute and beautiful and oh my gosh. I'm, I'm not, I'm so serious. They cannot do a video to that. They do an NB to that and I see Samwa singing that that sweet ass voice looking at the camera. Mm-mm, y'all. It'll be a wrap for me. No. Like the vocalists are just shining so hard on this album and it is long overdue and I love it. Every single one of these songs is a bop. What? There's no B-sides. What are you doing, ATs? Who gave you permission? Who told you this was okay? I am speaking from the depths of my madness right now. Who? Told you! Who gave you permission? Rocky's where? Anyways, the next song is called Thank You, Chingu, Kumopta. Kaja. This guitar! What an interesting sound! Okay, so what? This is so the song that's gonna play like when they have their first video talking about their journey to becoming like the biggest and most amazing band ever. This is that light. I need a light stick. Oh my god, I should have grabbed my light stick. Okay, General, I hear you, baby. Oh my god, that ending. No. Oh, guys, that was such a feel good song. Why are they so sweet? It is, come on, come I'm just seriously, I'm, I'm beyond. My expectations were fairly like high, but I'm blown away. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is Hung Jun's song that he wrote and composed, and I think he also arranged a good por portion of this. So here we go. <laughs> Ooh, Young just shining this album. No, oh, I love your voice, Chung Ho. Yeah. 
Yes, leader. Mm. Stop coming for me, Chung Ho. That's some fight song beats right there. The ending, though. You've done it again, Kim Hong Joon. That was a great song. Sir! That was great. I love the, all the harmonies in this album. Oh my gosh, vocalist shine! Oh wow, we've got Without You, If Without You, and then With You. <laughs> That's the one that also had a Korean title on the album. I cannot remember what that was, unfortunately. If I had it with me, I could read it. But I believe someone said it's like, it, it's expression usually said to like walk with you or to be with you. This is the one where I feel like Jung Ho is gonna come at us with, you know, just showing off as he absolutely should that he is the lead vocalist. So la, let's just get into it. Let's just do it. We've got one, one full song left before the end one. Okay. Just take my last, take my last ounce of blood, Jung Ho. Just do it. You can't start with this piano. I already want to cry. <laughs> I need you to stop coming for me, so watch. Like, this is for that nice, soothing night drive with your bae. Yes, the space. Oh my God! Can you imagine them singing this to you in a concert? <sighs> yeah. See, ATs be trying to make us all fall. Like we're already in love with them, and they're like, no, no, no. When that's not enough. We need you to be like obsessed with us. We need you to like, like, are they gonna be responsible for the mass pregnancy that th this album's going to create? Like, are they ready for that? Have they thought about this consequences and repercussions? You can't just, let's just finish the damn album. I love iron rims. Open your eyes. They're open? Like seriously, can you not just picture them on a pirate ship right now with like breeze blowing through their gorgeous hair and Hung Jun like pointing into the distance to the compass and like they're all in the back and San's up on the flag and ah. Uh. Two hours later. This is usually where I would try to give a thoughtful commentary about what I just heard, but I'm literally still reeling. I've got so much going through my head right now. At a high level, that was amazing. I expected it to be a good album, but hands down, by far the best album that they put out. And I mean, I know the rest were not actual full albums, but as far as the debut album goes, I think for a band that is a group that is not even a year old, that is remarkable. That is outstanding. All of the songs are beautiful, unique, and yet there's still a thread that co that goes through them. And what's so genius about it is that it ties four or sorry three other albums together into this beautiful thing that's still its own separate beautiful creation and yet it still plays homage to all the work that they've put in in the previous EPs like it's so the arrangements of the music were brilliant I mean Eden's been been a brilliant composer I was not at all expecting less but 
man, y'all, they were holding out on us. If there's anything this album has proven, it's that ATs has been holding out on us, y'all. We were already like, wow, they're super amazing. They're so great for rookies. Look at, bruh. That's because we hadn't even seen the best yet. One year in, guys. I am terrified of what they're gonna do next. Legit terrified. And I saw some spoiler pictures on Twitter of some some choreography they've got where Sans climbing people like a friggin' orangutan. I can only imagine the choreo we're gonna get out of this album. I am, we're not ready. I wasn't ready for that. I knew it was gonna be good and I still wasn't ready for it. And yet they still keep it unique. This is what I love about this group is that they're not trying to be like anybody else. They're not trying to imitate anybody else's sound. It's like they're looking at all these beautiful genres that exist in music and seeing some of the best parts of it using it but not like straight like you know beat for beat they're like taking it and like finding a way to reinvent it in a way that's their own and that works for them and that incorporates eight very unique people with unique talents that somehow work together in this beautiful gorgeous mosaic that is ATs like I literally had no desire to hit the next button there wasn't a single song that made me go ah they all showcase the talents of our of this and what I love about this album, I'm sorry, I said this during sort of during the songs, but I feel like the previous EPs, they've always done a good job of showing a little bit of vocalists and their rappers, but I do feel like Mingi and Hung Joon really got a lot of the focus along with Jung Ho because Jung Ho's voice is Jung Ho's voice. But I feel like this album, they really, really let the vocalists show that, hey, we're not just fillers in this group. Not that I ever felt that way. But if anyone was ever wondering if they weren't doing their fair share of the vocal lifting, this album will shut them up because, wow, ooh, young, Chung, ooh, young, my God, sir. Damn, you went off. Boy, Sungwa. Sungwa using different registers we've not heard him use before. My Lord. It's a great app. Stan ATs. What are, I'm so done. I'm so done. I'm so tired of seeing how talented these kids are. I'm done. I'm tired. Stan ATs. Stream their music video. Wonderland music video. KQ Entertainment only. KQ Entertainment. Stone Music is going to put it up as well. Please only stream it on KQ. Let's get these guys the streaming numbers that they need. I swear if they do not get a win for this, at least one song on this album, I, then the world is, 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 is forfeit to me. I, there's nothing left that's worth me anything. Like, cause this, this was such a great, great feat by them. I'm so proud of them. I cannot wait to listen to this on repeat pretty much for the next two weeks. And I'm probably still not going to be sick of it by then. Guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to me rant about how amazing these guys are for God knows how long this video is going to be when I edit it. But I cannot wait to see these guys continue to rise. I want to see more. Like, they just released an album and I'm ready for more. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. If you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more from this geeky face, please subscribe to my channel and there will be more in the future. Whatever. I gotta go.